Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that Bible story, and I hope you're doing all these wonderful things at home with your family. Please don't forget to post some pictures for us to see all the fun things you're doing. And we really miss seeing your smiling faces in front of us. I really miss that. But at the same time, I know you're smiling at home, so keep the smiles coming. <clears throat> Last time, we learned how compassion begins with seeing and welcoming. Today, we learned compassion helps us to be brave. Being brave sometimes means we don't know what will happen when we show up. The friend who was paralyzed didn't know if his friends would help him. He didn't know if he would get to see Jesus. The friends didn't know what would happen when they got to the house to see Jesus. Maybe they wouldn't get into the house. Maybe the religious leaders, or even Jesus, would see them and turn them away. Maybe the friend who was paralyzed wouldn't receive the healing miracle, but he did. I want you to think about this, and think about this with your family right now as you're sitting around together. How were those friends brave? What did they do? How was the friend who was paralyzed brave? What did he have to do? Who else do you think was brave in this story? Talk about that with your family. Compassion helped each of them to be brave. The friend who was paralyzed had courage that helped him trust his friends and ask Jesus for help. The friend's courage made them determined to do all they could do to help him. Jesus' courage showed the friend who was paralyzed that he was loved and accepted. We can be brave because we are filled with God's love, and God always promises to be with us. Let's sing our song one more time, Brave Enough Together. our empathy. That's the first step. To act on our empathy, we follow Jesus' example of compassion. Sometimes it is helping someone do something hard. Sometimes it is being honest about who we are and what we need. 
Sometimes it is showing love and acceptance for the person in front of us. These things can be hard. It's okay, though. We can trust God to give us the courage to be brave with our compassion. Let's close in the same way we open today. Place one hand on your head and one hand on your heart. We are doing this because compassion happens in our brains, but we often feel it in our hearts. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, Your compassion always looked like courage. Your compassion always looked like courage. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery. Strengthen our hearts with your bravery. As we risk, reach out, and lift up. As we risk, reach out, and lift up. Our siblings near and far. Our siblings near and far. Help us keep our eyes on you. Help us keep our eyes on you. Amen. Amen.